okay dear students so this is my discord channel in front of you and there is a doubt that was asked to me by a student here so let us see what is there in this question okay now so this question pertains to a topic which is uh, known as pseudo force but i must uh, tell you that this word pseudo force is not given in any of your book it is not there in the syllabus of ib but they do ask questions so this is a force this is a kind of a force so for particularly this question or particularly for this topic i have uploaded already so many videos there on my youtube channel which in which i have taken this concept of pseudo force in complete details so you can go there and you can check it out but for this video i'm just giving you a brief explanation for this what is a pseudo force first of all as per the definition of pseudo force is concerned it is a force that does not exist there actually but the effect of force is there and for example um for example you are standing in a bus and the bus driver applies a brake so actually the force is applied on the bus not on you but you have a push in front and you just fall in front as if somebody has pushed you backwards but there's there's no push there no so nobody is pushing you but you are still falling so it means there is no force but there is uh the effect of force now that kind of force is called a pseudo force now what are the characteristics for this first of all this f is equal to m into a the m is the mass of the body not the vehicle and acceleration is the acceleration of the vehicle so f is equal to m into a and also the direction of this force is always opposite to the direction of the acceleration of the vehicle so if the vehicle is going up this pseudo force is downwards if the vehicle is the acceleration for the vehicle is downwards then the pseudo force is upwards and i'm talking about the acceleration not the velocity be very careful here now as per this question is concerned now the person of the weight 600 newton stands on a scale on an elevator now what is the acceleration of the elevator when the scale reading goes up and it becomes 900 from 600 so uh, I'm directly jumping to the uh, formulas here for the apparent weight. So apparent weight will be mg minus ma. Like let us say this this lift is going up with an acceleration a. So the weight is mg, and because the acceleration of the vehicle is upward, the pseudo force is going to be downward. So it will be mg plus ma if the acceleration is upward. So I can say it will be mg plus ma if acceleration is upwards and mg minus ma if acceleration is downwards i'm going to explain you this also now you see the weight is anyways acting downwards but if let us say the acceleration is for the vehicle is downwards the pseudo force goes upwards so this force will be m into a so obviously our new reading will be mg minus ma because ma is the force that is acting upward so these are the formulas that we are now going to use and this 600 is now 900 it means something is added into it so 900 is apparent weight 600 is actual weight m into a and mass of the person is not given we have to find it from the weight only so this employs m into a will be equal to 300 and mass can be taken as weight divided by gravity so 600 divided by gravity into acceleration will be equal to 300 5 so it means that acceleration comes out to be 5 meter square and where upward in which direction upward because both of the forces have been added together so this is how we solve this question for the further explanation i would again tell you there is a video present in the playlist please watch that all the best bye